In this video, I just want to run through a quick example of how to calculate the break-even point in units. So let's say your company sells ice cream sundaes and you sell them at a price of $4 each and the variable cost per sundae is $1. And then the total fixed cost that your company has is $240,000. Now having this information and knowing this formula right here will allow you to solve for how many sundaes that you need to sell in order to break even. So you're going to start with in the numerator, you're going to have your fixed costs. So we see the fixed costs are $240,000. Those are the costs you're going to incur no matter how many Sundays you sell. So we're going to have $240,000 and then we're going to divide that by the unit contribution margin. Otherwise you could say the contribution margin per unit. It's the same thing. It's basically saying every time you sell one of these ice cream Sundays, how much contribution margin do you generate? And that's calculated by taking the $4 of sales revenue per Sunday minus the variable cost per Sunday. So that's four minus one. So that's $3 is your unit contribution margin. So think about it like this. Every time you sell one of these beautiful Sundays, you get $3 that you generate after covering your variable cost. There's $3 left over that can go toward your company's fixed costs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide by that $3 and so this is going to give us a number. It's going to give us 80,000. Okay, this is not a dollar amount. This is an actual number of units. So this is 80,000 Sundays. So if your company wants to break even, right, either neither have a loss nor a gain, but to break even, it's going to have to sell 80,000 Sundays. 